You know that show your friend's been telling you to watch for months? Now we're telling you to watch it too. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated current TV shows you should be watching. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll only be looking at underrated TV shows that are still on the air. So, shows like Sense8, which we admit is totally awesome, won't make the cut because, well, it got cut. Number 10, Smilf. Yeah, so what are you, like his nanny or? I'm uh, his mom. The title of this showcase series is a play on the acronym for MILF, with the S standing for single. It was created, written, and directed by Frankie Shaw, who you may recognize from Mr. Robot. Based on her short film, the comedy has a cast that boasts actors like Rosie O'Donnell and Connie Britton. It follows titular single mother Bridget, played by Shaw herself, as she navigates the single life with her son Larry in tow. Oh my gosh, Larry, look how big this dog is. Not only does the show put new twists on familiar storylines, but it's also raw, funny, and semi-autobiographical. Is it any wonder it was renewed for a second season after only a handful of episodes had aired? It's the dumbest that. thing I've ever yeah. heard. Number 9. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel so My life completely fell apart today. Did I mention that my husband left me? Woohoo! If you're looking for a show set in the 50s and focusing on the exploits of a Jewish housewife who decides to become a stand-up comic after her cheating husband abruptly leaves her, then this is the show for you. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is a healthy mixture of fresh faces and seasoned talent that, when put together, forms the basis of a wholly unique show that's a ton of fun to watch. I thought you wanted to be a cool chick. I could be a cool chick with a doorman and a Kelvinator Fooderama refrigerator, can't I? The first season won Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress in a Musical or a Comedy and Best Television Series Musical or Comedy. So now everyone and their grandmother will be talking about it. Which means you'd be wise to get on board ASAP. I, I can't change my mind and donate my kids to the library like I'm gonna do with this book. <laughs> Number 8. Good Behavior This is rehab, I'm gonna kill myself. User and abuser Letty Rains is quite the protagonist. When we first meet her, she's being released from prison on good behavior, but a thief and con artist like her is bound to find trouble eventually. What do I owe you? It's on the house. Thank you. Far from a one-note drama, Good Behavior is a multifaceted look at a deeply flawed woman whose goal is to be reunited with her 10-year-old son, Jacob. Featuring a brilliant performance from lead actress Michelle Dockery, not to mention the rest of the show's stellar cast, Good Behavior is definitely the black sheep of our list, a show that is guaranteed to leave you equal parts totally baffled and completely entertained. I can't go back there again. Number 7. Casual Dad owed him money. How much? $14. Casual is the laugh-a-minute Hulu series from Academy Award-nominated director Jason Reitman that has somehow managed to go unnoticed. The plot of this offbeat comedy is simple enough. Valerie, a recently divorced mother of one, must deal with the trials and tribulations of being single while living with her immature younger brother Alex. However, the dynamic between the two siblings, not to mention Valerie's unconventional relationship with her daughter Laura, is freaking hilarious. Seriously, stop sleeping on this show, people! It's the diamond in the rough that deserves your attention. That's a shocker. Number 6. Better Things You're my mom! I want you to know if I have sex or if I want to get high. Ah! No! Hide things from me! Please! Created by and starring television mainstay Pamela Adlon, Better Things is the down-to-earth dramedy you need right now. The FX series is two seasons in as of early 2018, so you'll have plenty of binge-watching material once it inevitably hooks you thanks to its big laughs, heartfelt performances, and stream of awesome guest stars. Because you make me get this mad before you even look up from your phone! Of course, you can't mention better things without mentioning the show's co-creator, director and writer Louis C.K., who FX cut ties with due to his numerous confirmed acts of sexual misconduct. And while there's no escaping the fact that the embattled comedian was a big reason for the show's success, we think it'll do just fine without him. Why don't you guys come in and grab some whatever? Number 5. The Affair Hello, friend. Hello, friend. A multiple Golden Globe winner, including one for Best Television Series Drama in 2015, The Affair is painfully underrated. This hard-hitting Showtime series focuses on, you guessed it, an affair. 
But of course, television these days is never that simple. The show is an investigation into the hearts and minds of its protagonists, Noah and Allison, two people who meet in the resort town of Montauk, New York, and engage in a passionate, adulterous relationship. No, I came out here to finish my book. Well, maybe you should try living a little. The Affair is a show for people who love nothing more than to see two actors at the top of their game, because leads Dominic West and Ruth Wilson are just that. There's no music. There is music. Come on. Number four, Fleabag. I have a horrible feeling that I'm a greedy, perverted, selfish, apathetic, cynical, depraved, morally bankrupt woman who can't even call herself a feminist. We already know your first question. Why is it called Fleabag? Well, as it happens, that's the name of the protagonist, played to perfection by London native Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Waller-Bridge is also the show's creator and writer, and boy does she do a bang-up job. Set in London, the show revolves around the misadventures of Fleabag, as she sometimes deftly but most horribly attempts to navigate the complicated world of sex and relationships. I want you to be totally in love with me by the end of the night. Okay? <laughs> the show is hilarious and comes in at under 30 minutes per episode, so what are you waiting for? You could be the first to tell your friends about this awesome comedy. They're good, right? Chic? Chic means boring. Don't tell a friend. Number three, Insecure. Lisa, what's on fleek? I don't know what that means. It's time to get on the Insecure train, because it's leaving the station whether you're ready or not. The HBO original series is, in a word, side-splitting. The show has received widespread acclaim from critics and holds a 100% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes as of early 2018, which for most people is the final word in whether or not they're going to watch something. I became someone else up there. Mm. You know, it was like brave me. Of course, we aren't just telling you to watch Insecure because it's got great ratings. It's a unique exploration of what it's like to be a young black woman living in America and struggling with issues such as identity and agency in the modern world. So where are you from? Honestly, it doesn't matter what I say, because this isn't going anywhere. Number two, Unreal. Absolutely. Good. I'm ready. Well, that's good, because here they come. Unreal takes viewers on a backstage journey into the heart of the fictitious dating program, Everlasting, in order to showcase just how crazy things can get behind the camera. Everlasting is reminiscent of a real-life dating show, and that's because one of the creators previously worked on The Bachelor. The show features a couple of fantastic performances from lead actresses Shiri Appleby and Constance Zimmer, who play a young producer looking for a second chance and her ratings-obsessed boss, respectively. How is she? Uh, not good. She's her pretty bad all torn up. Nice. Give me eight minutes. I'll be ready. Always on the prowl for the next drama-soaked scenario to spice up their show, the two women will do whatever it takes to ensure Everlasting gets picked up for another season. Oh, I'm uh, in here working on the intro. No, you're screwing up the intros. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. So Timothy Leary was like playing handball, setups, working out in the day. I know Graham said that interns aren't allowed in the morning meetings anymore, but my doctor diagnosed me with a chronic case of FOMO. No, Carol, get out. So I'm a confidence man. I give people confidence, they give me their money. Number one, Search Party. Do you guys remember that girl, Chantal Witherbottom? This is the dark comedy that should be on everyone's radar, but perplexingly and somewhat irritatingly isn't. Search Party stars Alia Shawkat of Arrested Development fame, along with a host of awesome actors who collectively make up a cast that will make you laugh like you've never laughed before. The show is about Dory, a young woman who learns that her college acquaintance Chantal has gone missing and decides to try and find her. There is literally a person out there right now who is begging for help, but is too scared to ask for it. A heartwarming show with enough twists and turns to keep you entertained and enough punchlines to keep you giggling. Search Party is truly a triumph from start to finish. Now get out there and tell some people about it. How is this pile of dirt so big with this hole is so small? Drew, explain it it's to me. Small, it's small, How is this so big and Why this is so small? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.